Hi, I'm Matt from hockeyreviews.ca, and this is the Blue Sports Trek Next Gen Skate Guard um, Anti Skid Walking Skate Guard review. So the box is just like that. This is the skate guard. Before that, if you are purchasing anything hockey related, please check out the link in the description to Pure Hockey. Make a purchase through that link. And I get a kickback to help support the channel so I can keep doing videos and making content, and it'd be greatly appreciated. Um, so, first, huge thanks to Blue Sports for sending me these uh, these skate guards. I did not pay for them, they sent me them for free so I could do a review on and talk about them. So this is the guard. The idea is it has like a shoe base bottom material so you can walk on concrete and walk from the parking lot because of what's going on in the world. Some people don't have, and rinks don't have locker rooms open so you have to get dressed outside this way or at home this way. You can walk from the car into the arena without damaging your skates much easier than a normal terry cloth version. Um, the reason I use terry cloth ones as one, it's easy. I generally don't have to walk outside and they have kind of the towel like material on the inside. So that way your blades will get kind of dried off if you don't dry them off all the way. I always do, but it's just a nice little extra piece there. And it does have a cut resistant material on the inside right there. That is what is on the inside of these as well. So you can see it right there. Again, the idea, you put them over your skate so you can walk on it and we'll do a whole test for it which you'll see in a second. So it does have a little Velcro piece on here to hold it in place on the skate. It basically holds right up here and that way it doesn't helps it from falling off. So as you can see in some of the views, I tested the skate guard on my deck with both my CCM skate and my true player skate. I did that because I would get the two different holders, um, which is kind of the SB holder. I didn't, I don't have the new CCM holder so I couldn't test it on that one but I think it's pretty similar to that in terms of like this everything. So it should be okay. Um, was fine with edge also fine with true's shift holder. Um, no problem there. It won't work on goalie skates. Basically it's not long enough. So this is, this thing is for a size eight or sorry, six to nine, I believe, as you can see on this little label right there, it's just not long enough. So you'd have to go a few sizes up. I don't know what size is up would make it work or if that even would even work. My goalie skates are about an eight and a half. Um, so they're not even close, but with everything else, they are pretty good. The one thing I was, um, I noticed is that with this taller steel, it has a harder time Velcroing in. So this part like really won't Velcro on that well. Um, I noticed that more on my true skates because the steel is a bit, is taller than what was on my CCM ones. This is bionic steel, so it's not quite as tall. LS5 is taller than what this is. So if you have that tall step steel as well, that would be an issue. So I didn't find it made any difference. You don't really have to use the, the Velcro piece. It's, I guess, for stability, but it didn't really, like they didn't move at all when I was walking around, so it wasn't a problem. I was very impressed with it, to be totally honest. Again, goalies, I don't know if this would work on like a junior goalie skate. I don't wanna say it will, because I didn't test that. I don't have a junior goalie skate for me to test but it worked well on my player skates. So I thought that these were gonna kind of move around and shift around a lot. I've seen people try to walk on this type of soaker, which does have like the, I think it was the, I don't know what it was, but it had something at the bottom to make it harder than the normal, like just cloth soakers like this. So there's like a harder version of this, but it didn't like it, it looks like it might move around, but when I was walking, it stayed totally planted and fine. Yeah, so it's pretty just flat. There's no like real groove that your blade seems to sit in. There is that little like the middle piece, but it doesn't really seem like a blade would sit in there and it's just kind of the connection point. I thought it might have like a little divot in there, basically like a canal or channel for your blade to sit through. I don't think it really does. Maybe that does what that's what it's supposed to do. Uh, but this didn't move at all when I was walking. I kind of showed that in multiple things. So had nothing like that it was really stable. It honestly felt like I was walking with nothing on and that was pretty impressive. Cause like I said, I've kind of walked with skate guards before and you can feel it moving around. These were very steady and they, they worked really well. So I was very impressed with that. Um, now that worked well. These are a six to nine. These are eight and a half skate. So it's basically on the big end of what this is. So I can't really say if a six would be as tight and snug on this because obviously it won't be quite as stretched. So I can't comment on that, but it worked well for this size and I was impressed with it for that size and I would definitely recommend them. The thing I would say though is if you can, hopefully you can try these on your skate um, at a, like a local retailer. So hopefully you can actually put these on, put them on the skate and see if it moves around at all. Cause it, if it does, you're kind of in a problem, but otherwise you 
like it will fit fine, but I'm, I'm a little hesitant to recommend it if you are in that smaller size because I haven't used it personally, so I can't say how well that will work. But it, I think it's a pretty good product and I'm pretty impressed with it. And I, I wanna say thank you to Blue Sports for sending me this. Uh, these to do a test on and to do a review. My rinks are currently starting to open up. Um, so if I'm playing player, I'm 100% doing this. I might as well just dress like, there's no locker rooms yet. So I'll be dressing at my car and I'll happily wear this in. That's not a problem with me. Uh, goalie skates are another thing, but I don't really want to walk with pads around concrete anyway. So, but yeah, I'm pretty impressed with this. Huge thanks for them sending it to me. It seems to work based on my testing. So I'm pretty happy with that. Please let me know if you tested these or have any comments or, or if you have any experience with this in below. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. Remember to like this video, subscribe to me on YouTube, follow me on Instagram and Twitter, links are in the description. If you found this video helpful, please reach out to Blue Sports, let them know. Uh, if you find, if you ever buy a piece of gear because of one of my videos, please reach out to the manufacturer, let them know as well. Helps me get on the radar so I can get gear like this, so I keep doing reviews and making content. If you are looking for any sort of hockey gear, please click the link in the description to Pure Hockey. If you use that link and make a purchase, I get a kickback, so it helps support the channel so I can keep doing what I'm doing. Thanks very much for watching and take it easy. You're watching hockeyreviews.ca.